हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल इट्स बीन अ लॉन्ग सेंस आई लास्ट पोस्टेड बट आई एम होपिंग टू बी अ बेट रेगुलर फ्राम नाउ ऑन सो या लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो फॉर टूडेज क्लास यूल नीड ऑल योर बेसिक मटीरियल दैट इज़ टू जार्स ऑफ वाटर वाटर कलर्स योर आई एम यूजिंग कैमलिंग आर्टिस्ट ग्रेड वाटर कलर्स दैन यूल नीड वाटर कलर पेपर पेंसिल इरेजर फ्यू राउंड ब्रशेज योर आई एम यूजिंग स्टेशनरी ब्रांड राउंड ब्रशेज यू कैन यूज दिस ब्रशेज दे आर क्वाइट अफोर्डेबल प्लस यू विल गेट अ डिस्काउंट इफ यू विल यूज माई कोड श्रेया सेवन एट द चेकआउट सो आई एल जस्ट लिंक द वेबसाइट इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स मेक श्योर यू चेक इट आउट नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट पेंटिंग एज यूजल वी विल स्टार्ट बाई अप्लाइंग मास्किंग टेप ऑन ऑल फोर साइड्स दैन आई एल जस्ट ड्रॉ द हराइजन लाइन on the paper and we will start sketching the cottage first so the painting which is on the right hand side is the end result of what we are painting today i am just attaching it here so that it is easy for you to refer sketching the cottage is quite simple you can follow me or just look at the picture on the right hand side and do it I also wanted to tell you if you are really interested in learning watercolors and painting landscape with me then I have a very in detail class on painting different types of landscapes on my skill share these are the classes which I have uploaded one is on painting countryside landscape and other is on painting winter landscape with the cabins so in case you are interested and if you are on skillshare you can join me i'll have a link in the description box also if you don't have a subscription to skillshare don't worry just log in with my link and you will get one month of free subscription to all the classes on skillshare so yeah i am Hoping to see you there. So here we are almost done with the sketching part. I was little unhappy with the right hand side of the cottage, so I just redid it. And lastly, I'll just draw a few fence on the front end of the house. And yeah, and that's it. Now let's move on to painting part. first i'll just wet the whole paper with clean water and then we will start painting the sky using ultramarine blue and tiny bit of red to it keeping the sky quite simple so i'll just apply blue color here and there leaving some gaps in between and that's it now when that is done let's move on to painting the bushes around the house so i'll create a very light value of green that is i'll mix my lemon yellow and tiny bit of sap green and i'll start applying the first layer of the color on the bushes once you have applied the lighter value of green i'll just add tiny bit of sap green to it to make it little darker and then i'll reapply it on the bush so slowly i'll increase the intensity of the green to create the depth in our bushes make sure that you don't cover the underneath layer with the darker color which you are applying otherwise there's no point in you know reapplying different greens so yeah with every layer i'll go a little bit darker and i'll make sure that underneath layer is still visible and to make your green a little darker you can use your blues so you can use your ultramarine blue persian blue or even indigo to make it little darker so while the upper part of the painting is drying let's paint the lower part so i'll just rewet the paper as it has been completely dried then i'll just take my cadmium yellow and blue mix together and i'll start applying it same way i'll just add tiny bit of green to it and i'll also apply that next i want to create flower meadows so here i'm just taking my red color and slowly just adding dots on it while my paper is still wet then i just added few splatters so i'm doing this while my paper is wet because i want it to blend a little with the background and to give me this blurry 
and soft look so yeah make sure that your paper is wet otherwise you won't get this effect now to create the branches of the flowers i'll take a sharper object here i'm taking the knife palette knife and then i'll just use the end of the palette knife to create strokes you'll see that it will create a little dent on the paper which will ultimately look like the stem of the flower Now let the lower portion dry while that is drying let's paint the first layer of our cottage so i'll mix my cadmium yellow with a tiny bit of burnt sienna and i'll paint the roof of the cottage And once that is done, let's paint the bushes. So I'm creating a very dark mix of green. That is, I'm adding a bit of dark blue to my green mixture. And I'll start painting the green color on the lower portion of the bush. And I'll also switch to my smaller round brush so that I don't end up completely covering the whole bush with one color. Last time when we painted the bush, we were painting using wet on wet technique. Now we are doing it wet on dry to create a bit of depth and contrast in our bush. So you will see me using different shades of green and I'll just use the tip of my brush and do the tapping motion to create the bushes around the house. Let me know if you are enjoying these videos on painting landscapes using watercolors. Also, in case you want something different, then do let me know in the comments down below. And make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on the videos which I post weekly, mostly on Saturdays or on Fridays. And lastly, make sure that you hit the like button in case you enjoyed this video so that it would reach more and more people. I'll also create few plants near the windows so I'll take the same green color and do the same tapping motion to paint the small plants on the top of the windows of the cottage. Now let's start adding details to our roof. So I'll take a slightly darker brown color and I'll add that on the top of the roof. Next, to make it look like the roof is made up of, you know, tile-like structures. So I'll take the lighter value of brown color and I'll just create rectangles with that. To create the lighter value, you just have to add a bit of water to your brown 
so yeah just make sure that it is slightly darker than the underneath layer otherwise it won't show up so just swatch it on your rough paper in case you are not sure now let's start adding details to our foreground as it dried it got a little lighter and i wasn't happy with it so i just took the green color and reapplied it on the foreground once that is done i'll paint some grasses in the foreground using a smaller round brush so the painting might look a bit difficult but it is not you just have to layer one color on the another and that way you will get the depth and contrast which you are looking for just follow the steps like i'm doing it i'm sure you'll be able to do it so don't be scared by just looking at it you have to try to know that you can do it so yeah give it a go the steps are quite simple and even the sketching part is simple so don't worry i'm sure you will be able to nail it and yeah i cannot wait to see your creation so in case you do it make sure that you tag me on instagram my instagram handle is at the rate artist rayagada uh, or if you are on facebook you can tag my page that is art by shreyagada so i'll just link all my social media links on the description box below so make sure that you check it out and if you're watching this then you'll have to paint it so just do it So here we are almost done with the painting. I'm just giving few more details with the darker brown color on the roof area. Then I'll add few more details on the foreground. That is, I'll paint the fence. I'll draw few more flowers in the foreground using wet on dry technique. I'll draw few stems using the same wet on dry technique. and yeah we would be done with this painting so i'll just leave you here and i'll let you enjoy the painting process and i'll see you by the end
now once your painting has completely dry let's remove the masking tape and see the final result of our painting so while you are peeling your tape just make sure that you are doing it at an angle which is away from the paper so you don't end up tearing it and this is the final look of our painting i hope you enjoyed watching and learning along with me make sure that you like comment share and subscribe to my channel also do let me know what you would like to see more on this channel i'll see you really soon bye